Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. You're bigger. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's bigger. Hallelujah. Woo, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He's bigger. Woo, Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Ooh, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Woo, thank you, Jesus. He's bigger. He's bigger. He's bigger than any problem you face today. He's bigger. He's bigger. He can handle it. Woo, woo. Turn it over to Jesus. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah. He says, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, hallelujah, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest. For your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Who, whose report will you believe? Mm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You're bigger than that. He's bigger than that. Whatever you're facing, he's bigger than that. Hallelujah. He can carry it. Turn it over to Jesus. Put it on in his hands. Hallelujah. With God, all things are possible. All things. Doesn't matter what you're facing. All things are possible. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ooh. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's bigger than that. Whatever it is, he's bigger. Ooh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Jesus. He's bigger than that. No matter what the devil said, no matter what it looks like, God is bigger than that. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. He's bigger than that. He's greater. Come on. Now, he hold the world in the palm of his hands. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give God some praise today. He's worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. In spite of what's going on, we can rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good day, good morning, good afternoon. I don't know what time zone you're in. Where I am right now is 1222 p.m. Amen. Hallelujah. This is Pastor Noella. Just came on to give you some encouraging words with God. All things are possible. This is Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you that no matter what you're facing today, no matter what you're going through, God is bigger than that. Put it all in his hands. Amen. I know that there was a song say, all in his hands. I put it all in his hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Put it all in his hands. Turn it over to Jesus. He's a burden bearer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today, hallelujah, 
I just want to lift up a little prayer today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way today. Move mightily by your Holy Spirit. You say, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Touch the hearts of your people, Father God. Open up the spiritual ears of your people so they can hear your voice, Father, through this word, Father. In the name of Jesus, allow the word to go down in their heart and take root and bear good fruit in its season. In the name of Jesus, sensitize the hearts of your people, Father. I'm praying in the name of Jesus, Father, that you will remove the blind from, from the minds of your people. For you said in your word, if our gospel is hid, it's hid to those who are lost. Who the God of this age has blinded the minds of those who believe not. So that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, hallelujah, who is the image of God, won't shine on them. Open up spiritual eyes, oh God, so your people can see the truth. See the truth about the, your word. See the truth about themselves, Father. Jesus, the Bible is fulfilling itself, Father. So I'm praying that you will move by your Holy Spirit. Open up the spiritual eyes of your people so they can see the truth about their own situation, about their own circumstances, Father. In the name, there's nothing hard for you. Is it anything too hard for the Lord? The things that are impossible with men are possible with you, God. In the name of Jesus, my God, somebody's faced with a, with a doctor's report, Father. The doctors have given somebody, Lord God, not much time to live, a family member, but, but you're able, Father. You're able to turn it around, Father. Late in the midnight hour, God is going to turn it around. He's going to work in your family favor. Hallelujah. We believe the report of the Lord. Going to Isaiah 53 and one. Lord, who has re believed our report? We believe the report of the Lord that by your stripes, Jesus, we're healed. Hallelujah. No matter what the doctor's report say, no matter what the x-ray say, my God, Jesus. Uh, no matter what the MRI say, my God. Some people are going through vertigo today. Some people are suffering with cancer. Some people are diabetes, Father. Some people got all kinds of sickness, got high blood pressure, got low blood pressure in the name of hepatitis, all these different things. Uh, my God, Jesus. So many people have died from cancer recently, Father, but I'm praying, Father, in the, in the name of Jesus, uh, I bind the spirit of cancer, I bind the spirit of diabetes, pre-diabetes, I bind the spirit of lupus, all kinds of diseases, all kinds of infection in the name of Jesus, Father, all the spreads of infirmities, God, I bind it in the name of Jesus, I lose your healing power over the lives of your people, I lose your healing power into, into our bodies, which is your temple, because our bodies is a temple of the Holy Ghost, I lose your healing power right now, Jesus, because you said in your word, Father, you give us the keys to the kingdom. You said that Jesus, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth is loose in the heaven. In the name of Jesus, you've given us the authority to bind and to loose. Sometimes I hear people saying, Lord, bind this. No, the Lord said he's given us the power to bind and to loose in the name of Jesus. So we can bind and we can loose things. In the name of Jesus. So I bless your name on today. I give God praise today, hallelujah, because he is worthy to be praised. His name is above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Of things in the heavens and things on the earth and things under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. So I give you praise today, Father God. What a mighty God we serve. Turn it over to Jesus. Turn it over to Jesus. Whatever the situation is, turn it over to Jesus. Put it in his hands. Hallelujah. I put it all in his hands. Amen. Because hallelujah is nothing hard for our God. Nothing is hard for our God. He is able. He's a burden barrier. A burden bearer. He can carry anything. Hallelujah. So thank you today, Father. We bless your name, Father. Have your way in the lives of your people in the name of Jesus. Pull on every stronghold in the name of Jesus. Oh, how every stronghold, pull it down, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father God. I'm actually to heal your people today. I'm actually to heal not just the body, but physically, but spiritually, Father. I'm actually to heal emotionally, Father. Psychologically and mentally, Father. So many people are walking around with mental illness, Father. So many people, the enemy is attacking their minds, Father. In the name of Jesus. But the blood of Jesus Christ over the spread of mental illness. I decree healing, Father, right now. Healing because is there anything too hard for the Lord? Nothing is impossible with you, Father. Your word said by your stripes we're healed you want us to be whole hallelujah and then according to third john and to beloved i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospered so we speak prosperity oh god over the health of your people father over the mind our souls oh god our minds we speak prosperity 
We decree in the name of Jesus, Father. Hallelujah. That we will prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospers. Father, I'm praying that you will give us wisdom how to take care of these bodies. Oh, God, because we only got one body, which is your temple. Teach us how to take care of these bodies, Father. Teach us how to eat the right thing, Father. So many of us is on medication, Father. Hallelujah. We can't be just taking the medication and saying, God going to heal me. We don't tempt the Lord our God, but we got to do our part. We got to eat the right things, oh God. Eat the right quantity of things, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father. So I'm praying, Father, for wisdom for each and every one of us. That you will give us wisdom and how to take care of these bodies, Father. Wisdom and how to maneuver these, these, these end times that we're in, Father. Because we see, Father, in the name of Jesus, your word is fulfilling itself, Father. In the name of Jesus, your word is fulfilling itself, Father. Your word is fulfilling itself, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, so we thank you, Father. We give you praise and honor and glory. We thank you that we can stand on your word. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God, for your promises, Father. They are yea and amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, that you're not a man that you should lie. Neither you the son of man that you shall repent. According to Numbers 23 and 19, when you speak a word, you got to bring it to pass, Father. You are able to bring it to pass. There's nothing hard for you, Father. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Holy Spirit. You're great in all the earth. It's nothing that you can't do, Father. It's nothing hard for you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, because all you did was spoke the world into existence and then everything happened, Father. You said, let there be light and light appeared in the darkness. You spoke light into the darkness and you given us the authority in the power. You said death and life in the power of the tongue and they that love it would eat the fruit thereof. We're able to speak things into the existence in the name of Jesus. We can call those things that be not as though they were in the name of Jesus. So we thank you Father. We're able to call those things that be not as though they are. We are speaking spirits in the name of Jesus and you've given us the authority to speak. To speak things into the existence. Speak things into the atmosphere. The same things, come on now, the same things Jesus did, we can do it. He said, the same works I do, you can do, and greater works, because I go to my Father. Come on, we got to speak. When we speak, things is going to happen. Come on now. And instead of speaking negative things, speak and say, I'm going to always be broke. I'm going to always be sick. I always got to deal with these, these, these sinuses. Come on, every I got seasonable sinus, I got seasonable allergies. Every time spring come, I'm going to get sick. I can expect, no, speak something different. Say in the name of Jesus, when the season come, I'm going to be fine. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, when the season come, I'm going to be fine. I don't have to worry about anything. Hallelujah. I'm speaking this into existence. Come on now, even when winter come. Come on, you're speaking into existence. I'm going to be fine. I don't have to deal with no seasonal allergies. I don't got to deal with no allergies in the spring. Speak it in the name of Jesus. And when we speak things, then we got to do our part. Take care of yourself. Be careful of, of dust, of pollen. Be careful. Because we can't speak things in the atmosphere and then we don't do our part. Amen. Sometimes we got a part to play in the name of Jesus. So I ask you to speak whatever God has shown you. You can have whatsoever you say. That's what Jesus said. My gosh. Hallelujah. He said, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you can speak to this mountain and it will be removed. So whatever mountains is in your life, you can speak to it. Hallelujah, Jesus. If you got a mountain of death, hallelujah, hallelujah, speak to it, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, and then do your part, save your money, hallelujah, pay a little bit at a time to get out of debt. Come on, we know that God is a supernatural God, and he can wipe out our debt just like that, hallelujah. So many people's school loans have been wiped off, hallelujah, hallelujah. I can remember times when I had things on my credit report, and when I went back like a week or something, it was gone. Pay it in full. I can find it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is able. God is able to speak things and he's able to turn things around. It's nothing hard for our God. In the name of Jesus on today, whatever your situation is, God is greater. God is bigger than anything we find ourselves in. Hallelujah. In this scripture, they were talking about how hard is it for us. You know, they had a, a scripture here with Matthew 19, 26. Amen. They were talking about, um, 
Let me go back. 23. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly get enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm here to tell you that all things are possible to him that believe it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, it's hard for a rich man to enter into the, it's hard for a camel to go into the eye of a needle. Amen. In the natural. Hallelujah. Because you know what? Look, pay attention to the eye of a needle. Many of us, we stitch, we knew we use a needle and thread to try and stitch things before. And sometimes for me, I'm trying to put this needle, the, tra the thread in the needle, and it's so hard. It takes me sometimes so many different tries to try and get it in there. Amen. Sometimes, I, you know, I got to go in the light. Sometimes I got to try and go a different way to try so I can see better in the name of Jesus. But it's hard because that need, the hole in the needle is so small. It's so small. And the threads, and even the, the, the tip of the thread is small too, but you got to, it takes a skillful person to get that thread into that needle. Amen. And in this situation, you know, it's hard for, you know, a rich man to enter in the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Because, but, but with God, all things are possible. Because you know why? Because there's nothing hard for God. You know, because Jesus is the only way to heaven. Amen. And so many people are trying to squeeze in all kinds of different things into the gospel. Ah, uh, you can do good works. You don't need the name of Jesus. You, you're a good person. Come on, come on, come on. You, you, you don't hurt nobody. You, you pray five times a day or you say the rosary or, you know, you go to church every, every, every Sunday. Come on, or you go to Bible study or whatever it, it, every week. Come on, you do your part. You go above and beyond, but works don't save you. You're saved by grace through faith. It's a gift of God, not of works. Lest any man shall boast. Amen. Hallelujah. You're saved by grace through faith. Hallelujah. Romans 10, 9, 10 and 10. Verse 9 and 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. That's the word of God. For with the heart, man believe it unto righteousness and with the mouth, Confession is made unto salvation. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's the word of God. And so we got to believe the word of God. That's how you get saved. The belief got to come from the heart. Just thinking in your mind. Hallelujah. See, some religions say that Jesus was a good prophet. He was a good teacher. Amen. Yes, he was all that. But Jesus is God in the flesh. And that's what you got to believe. In order to be saved. That God came in the flesh. Come on. Christ died for sinners. Come on now. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 1 through 4 is the gospel. Christ died, was buried, rose again on the third day. Hallelujah. That's the gospel. The gospel is good news. To some people it's not good news. Because some people don't want to hear nothing about the name of Jesus. Because when you say the name of Jesus, it irritates some people. But that's the only name that can save you. That's the only name that can save us. Hallelujah. So I thank God today for that name. His name is above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Of things in the heavens and things on the earth and things under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Come on, that's Philippians chapter 2. Every knee shall bow. Amen. But it's easier for a camel. To go through the eye of a needle. Then for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. This is Matthew 19, 24. Because you know why? A, a rich man, his mindset is on, uh, is on earthly things. Amen. His, you know, some people, like they say, I've seen people before. They, they bury people before with the jewelry. They bury them with a, with a, with a football. Like they, a, a specific team. If they had a specific, specific team that they, that they liked, you know, and, and, or they voted for. Amen. You know, and, and they, they, they die with that shirt on and, 
You know, they that they got that ba the baseball or, the, or they got that basketball in 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 the coffin and come on now. You can't take that thing to heaven with it's okay to you be buried with your, your favorite things, but you, it ain't going into heaven with you. Because once you die, your spirit is gone, the soul is gone. That that body just says support the outer shell is in the coffin. And you know what happened? You got grave robbers. You put that body down in that grave. You know, as people go back and take that stuff out of the coffin, steal the jewelry. Come on now. But we can't take stuff with us when we leave this earth. And the point, too, is that we don't know when we're going to leave this earth. Because life is short. The next breath we take is not promised to us. The next breath you take is not promised to you. In the name of Jesus. So guess what, my brothers and my sisters? If you don't know God, if you don't have a personal relationship with God, because this is what Christianity is all about, is having a personal relationship. A lot of these other religions, they have religion, but they don't have relationship. But when you confess Christ as Lord and Savior, you have a relationship with God. You come back into right standing with God. Where Adam and Eve disobeyed God. Come on now. And then all of us are born in sin and shape and iniquity. Aren't you glad that God made a way? But Jesus Christ is the way. You can't take Jesus. You can't take works. You can't take all this stuff with you. It's only Jesus Christ that can save you. Hallelujah. We're saved by grace through faith. It's not of ourselves. It's a gift of God, not of works. Lest any man should boast. Mm -mm. And I'm so glad that God made it that simple. So none of us can boast and say, well, I prayed, I prayed five times today. I'm on a, I went to Mecca. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I, I did my rosary today, my little beads. You know, um, I read the Torah five times a day. I gave a lot of money today. I fed the hungry today. I fed the poor today. I gave an offering. I send money to missions. Mm -hmm. I went on a mission field today. I read the Bible from cover to cover. From Genesis 1, come on, to revelate the book of Revelation. I read the whole Bible in a year. That don't mean you say, brother. You get it, sister. You get up and pray. I get up and pray every day. Oh, I know how to pray. Come on. Come on. I serve in the church. Yes. I'm an usher in my church. I'm in a choir. Mm hmm I give a word. I get up and I take a word and then expound on it. That don't mean that you save. That's works. You're supposed to do good works. But works don't get you into the kingdom. Amen. Just like the rich man. It's hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Because his mindset is on riches. His mindset is on worldly things. Jesus said, if any man desire to follow me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. You got to deny yourself. Not saying that God don't want us to have, you know, wealth. Not, not saying that, that God wants us not to be taken care of, of course. No, as Christians, as children of the Most High God, we shouldn't live in poverty. We shouldn't live in lack. We shouldn't be living from paycheck to paycheck. Yeah? Because we serve the living God. Everything that Jesus has belongs to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he raised us up and allows us to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. He made us heirs. We are heirs and come on, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Amen. But the thing is, with a rich man, this, this is all he's thinking about. Hallelujah. You, you know, so many people out here that are wealthy, that are rich, and they're not doing really nothing with the money. They're storing up all their money. It's hard for them to give. You know, think about these people that have all these, these big mansions with, with, you know, 15 and 20 rooms and got three and four, five cars. Um, Come on, man. You can only ride in one car at a time. So, so many people have all these riches. Come on. And we, you know, as Christians, we're rich in God. But our riches may not be in money or wealth, but our riches, come on, man. You, you, you have peace of mind. You got peace of mind. You can be healed. You can be delivered. I'd rather have that than have all this worldly thing. Because you know what? When you have all these worldly things, then but that does attract it attract thieves. Come on now. A lot of people are ending their life because of all the stuff they got. Because of the stuff they have. They don't got no peace. They're concerned about somebody gonna try to rob them. You know, in the name of Jesus, you, you know. It's so, so so having all these riches. 
hard for a rich man enter into the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of heaven. Because you got to deny yourself. You got to leave their things aside. It, it meant some things you may have to give up, sacrifice. And this is what happened before that. Amen. Let me go back and read how this came up. In verse 16 in chap Matthew chapter 19. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, which is Jesus, Why callest thou me good? There's none good but one that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So he said unto him, which, meaning to say, which commandment? Trying to say, well, I, I did all of these. And Jesus, and he said, which? And Jesus said, thou shalt not do murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbors thyself. The young man said unto him, all these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, if thou wilt be perfect, go. And sell that thou hast and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying. He went away sorrowful. For he had great possessions. Then said Jesus unto the disciples. Verily I say unto you. That a rich man shall hardly enter the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you. It is easier for a camel. A camel to go through the eye of a needle. Done for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And when his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Amen. So look at the situation. The young man, he had all, you know, he had a lot of wealth. And, you know, he, you know, he kept the commandments. Amen. Hallelujah. But guess what? There was one commandment, love your neighbors yourself. He had so much wealth that this man probably didn't love his neighbor because he was hogging up the, the wealth and he wasn't sharing with anybody, you know? And so, so this is a situation with a lot of us. We have so much. Look at all these, big, and, and sometimes I think about all these wealthy people, you know, they have them on the internet, they have them on Google, on YouTube, they're out there on Yahoo. You can Google the richest person or, and you know, you can click on people and you can see who, who got wealth and how much they have. And, you know, but a lot of them, they're not doing nothing with it. When God blesses, us, he blesses us to be a blessing. It's not for us to hold things up for ourselves and don't think about nobody else. Amen. So you always got to remember, you know, but I know a lot of us, we didn't start it. We didn't start it. We, we, you know, we wasn't born as they said with a gold spoon in our mouth. We, a lot of us, we didn't, in the natural, we wasn't born in a house or in a palace, amen, and in the natural. But you know what? In the spiritual, you're, we're queens, amen. We are kings. We are, we are priests and kings unto the Lord, amen. Hallelujah. So in the natural, you may not have been born with anything. You may have had to have hand-me-downs growing up. But you know what? That's how I grew up. I didn't really have much. Amen. But now the Lord has blessed me to have extra. But the thing is that we have to deny ourselves. Amen. Because what happens? The Bible said the love of money is the root of all evil. A lot of people say money is the root of all evil. No, it's not. The love of money. That's what the word say. It's the root of all evil. The love of money. Because some people love money so much that they're willing to kill somebody for it. They're willing to steal for it. Amen. And so God is saying today, with me, all things are possible. That situation that you're looking at and you think it's too hard for me, too hard for you. Mm -mm, it's not hard for me. God said, turn it over to me. Turn that situation over to me. I can handle it. I can handle the doctor's report. I can handle the situation with that loved one. Come on, that, that child that, 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 that don't want to listen. I can deal with them. Amen. I'll turn it over to me. Pray and turn it over to me. Do your part. You know, this is what the Lord is saying. I'm a healer. I'm a savior. I'm a deliverer. Whatever you need, I have it. Amen. I am your shepherd and you shall not want. Hallelujah. David says in Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. 
Amen. And I know sometimes needs come up and situations come up. But Philippians 4.19 say, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. He will supply your need. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to stress. Amen. You don't have to fret. You may have lost your job. Amen. Or you may have got a pink slip. Amen. Or you may have got laid off. Or your hours may have decreased. But I'm here to tell you, God will supply your need. He will make a way. He have resources that would not run out. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness there of the world and they that dwell therein. He has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Come on. That's Psalms 24. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1. God knows how to get things to us. Amen. Hallelujah. So if some of your resources is dried up, just as how that brook dried up. Come on for Elijah the prophet. In 1 Kings chapter 17, God got another brook. He got another way to take care of you. He has another door he would open, amen, to supply your need. God is faithful to us. He's faithful, even when we're not faithful, amen. So today I just wanted to share those encouraging words with you. With God, all things are possible, all things. Amen, I've been trying to do some things for the longest, amen. I'm going to come back another time and share on that, amen, but... But God made a way. He opened doors. He guided me. He gave me favor. You got favor. Your child of the most high God, you got favor with God. Just as Mary had favor, we always think about Mary. Yeah, Mary had favor. No, you're a child of God. You got favor too. God will allow people to look, go past other people and, and get you that job. And you don't even have all the degrees and the qualifications. But you got the favor of God. Come on now. So many people are dying of cancer and different things and God keeping some of us because there's so many generational curses passed, passed down to us from our forefathers. But I'm here to tell you, you don't have to believe, receive everything. So, so your mama died of cancer. That don't mean you're going to die of cancer. Come on now. Stop receiving. We got to stop receiving stuff. Believe the report of the Lord by his stripes. We're healed. Healing is a children's bread. So no matter what you're faced with today, I just wanted to encourage you, amen, that with God, all things are possible, amen. Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, amen. So let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word. I bind it. I thank you even though the distractions came, Father. You allow me to keep preaching this word and ministering to your word. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus Christ against the spirit of distraction in the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm praying and touching the minds of your people. Touch the minds of your people encourage them lord god let them know father god is nothing hard for you we got to stand on your word father your word will not return into your void when we speak your word and we believe it by faith we're going to see things happen things are going to change hallelujah in the name of jesus so father encourage your people i'm praying for sound mind for stable minds regulating mind i'm praying for transforming renewed minds hallelujah god in the name of jesus Touch the hearts of your people. Bring healing. I'm praying for healing in the natural and in the spiritual. So many people are having heart issues today, God. Jesus. Mild heart attacks. Massive heart attacks. People got to have heart transplants and in the name part and pacemakers and all these things. Because the ventricles and the hearts and different things is either it's beating too fast, beating too low, it's irregular, whatever the situation is. Your heart fixer. Your mind regulator. So I'm praying for spiritual and natural healing for your people today, oh God. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Open doors for your people, Father. Some people need some doors open for employment. Some people need some doors shut too, Father. You're able to shut doors. I'm praying in the name of Jesus. Because you've given some of us, God, witty ideas and inventions. And I'm praying that you would manifest it, Father. That you would speak to us in dreams and visions. Show us how to... Get the things done, Father, because these are things that will bring us wealth, Father. You said the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. According to Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 8, you said we will remember the Lord our God because it's he who's given us the power to get wealth. You have given us the power to get wealth, Father. So I'm asking you, Father, that you would open up the spiritual eyes of your people so they can see where the wealth is, Father. 
in the name of Jesus. Because some of us, they have something in their home that they can use to bring them wealth. They got an extra room or they got something, Father. Hallelujah. And their hands, Father. Our hands are anointing or whatever we touch will prosper. What is in your hand? That's what you ask Moses. What is in your hand? Moses had that staff when he threw it down, it became a snake. God, we have things in our hand. We can, some people can cook. Some people can crochet. Some people can, in the name of Jesus, they can do things with their hands on the computer, Father. So I'm praying in the name of Jesus, Lord God. That Father God, hallelujah, you would touch your people. And you would open up their spiritual eyes, Father, and show them where the wealth is. Show them, Father, what you've given them, Father God. That they can make money, Father God. That they can maneuver. Because a lot of them, you're taking your people off of the jobs. In the name of Jesus. You're taking some people off of the job. God said, it's time to come off the job. I've been told you to come off the job because I have a business. I've given you a business idea. And you're still on that job. Going through a whole lot of stuff. And the Lord said, things are just going to keep getting worse. Because I give you a word and you're stubborn and you're disobedient. And that's what you're going through so much. But God said the gift and the calling of God is without repentance. He ain't going to take it back. But it's things that he's given us to do. And it's seasonable. And if we don't do what, what he says to do in the timing. Then the anointing and the favor that was on it is going to be gone. Because sometimes God is way ahead of us and we're still back here. So in the name of Jesus, I'm praying, Father God, that you would touch your people. Touch their minds, touch their eyes, Father. Anoint the hands of your people, the feet. Some people, the feet. The feet, hallelujah, are going to take some people in different territories, in different places, Father, so they can get what you have for them, Father. Ah, Jesus, hallelujah, thank you, Father. And I'm praying for those that are not saved, God. Hallelujah, that today is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. I'm praying, Father God, they would open up the spiritual eyes of your people so they can see the truth, Father, because we are in the end times, Father. Things are going to get worse, Lord God. And so I'm praying that you will save your people. I'm praying that you will bring the backsliders to you, Father. So many people have walked away from the church. So many people have walked away from you. So many people have, have abandoned the faith. People are saying they're no longer Christian. They're no longer using the name of Jesus. But at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart. God is raising from the dead. You shall be saved. That's how we get saved. We got to call in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Demons back up. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. So, Father, have your way. Have your way, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for opening doors. Thank you for shutting doors. I'm praying, Father, for that person that's not saved. Romans 10, 9 and 10. You say, if we confess with our mouth, the Lord Jesus, believe in our heart. As God has raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. It's the ABCs of salvation. Admit that you're a sinner. Believe in who Jesus Christ is and confess him as Lord and Savior. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 1 through 4 is the gospel. Christ died, was buried, rose again on the third day. Hallelujah. So I thank you, Father, for your people. I thank you for your word. Hallelujah. Continue to cover us under the blood. Keep us safe as we go in and out, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Thank you for everyone that would... Listen to this word. Amen. I pray that it encourages you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Stay encouraged and stay in the faith. Love you guys. This is Pastor Noelle Perry from Divine Purpose Deliverance Ministry in Culpeper, Virginia. Stay safe.